Hey guys, today is finally back to school day from Easter. And I've sent Ben on the bus and I'm really happy. It's hard dealing with special needs for so long at home. I gotta figure out some kind of like um, summer camp or something for him. But we've got Sheba and we've got an unboxing. This is actually on loan from my friend over at um, Fidget Focused. He got the PEI Gao Studio Rice Ball. And I'm really excited because I found that the lighter materials um, have really, really make things pop. Like, you get a really good, like, feel to it. And, like, all the clicks are louder and then also like the haptics are stronger in your hand. And I only figured that out because of the um, Metal Toys um, bubble in titanium felt a lot better than the Metal Toys like stainless steel or brass. Um, I have found that I really like, I never was able to get the titanium one, but I did get it in, um, Zerk, and I like it. I'm gonna keep that one. So I've had the rice ball before, and I I sell I sold it to my friend Gavin at Dynamic Inertia. Kind of missed it. Oh yeah, he said. Sorry, my dogs are freaking playing. He said that the, there's new packaging with Gal, which is very interesting. I like it. Um, Gal, Stu Gal Studios kind of started out as like, like a knockoff type of brand, but a lot of their stuff has become really nice now. So let's see. Look at that. This is definitely premium packaging for sure. Oh, I thought it would open up like this. Okay. So this is where it was sealed in. Oh, it's like a resealable also. Okay. Um... We've got a little card that's got a QR code. Very nice. Um, here we've got the actual fidget. No, there's a little pull up here. Oh, I guess I guess the the card was under here originally. Okay. So let's pop this baby out. I wish I had the original one to kind of compare but here we go oh I kind of like that it's um transparent look at that thing oh it is light but I like the fact that it's black on the top so let's see you know this is not the one that I thought of that I gave to Gavin the one that I gave to Gavin was the Pico the Pico, that one was really good. This was the, this is the rice ball. Yeah, the Pico one ah, was much better. But let's see here. I wonder how much he got this for. Let me, let me try to open it up here. Of course, all the balls. So it's got um, it's got a little um, oh man, bearing in there to make it spin a little bit easier. And then it's got. Shit. Ooh, hold on. Sheba. Okay. So I wanted to take a look at this pack. Point her, let's point her down a little bit here. Ooh. Okay, so what I wanted to know is if I can make this bad boy stronger. Now, I remember that you can actually poke out the top here and change around the magnets. This is the same makeup as like the Pico. 
So there's only, okay, so the magnets go in, are these enclosed? I don't think they're enclosed. No, they're not. Oh man, but I guess you could put stronger magnets in here. This is just, I guess, for show. <coughs> Damn. Okay. So, one of my friends gave me this. It's a nice magnet sticking thing. So, I was able to round up the balls. They're pretty big. But I don't know if they're magnetic. Oh, shit. I wonder if I could put some other type of magnets in here, like some cylindrical type of magnets to make it um, feel a little bit better. Shit, I lost one right there in the middle. I have found the answer. So my friend uh, Gavin had sent me some magnets. Now these were the ones that I replaced with the N52 ones, but you can get N52 magnets in literally any shape. You just use like the caliper to measure it. But I'm thinking that like the regular Gao, studio or like the magic one that I had before I can actually use this to maybe strengthen the magnets a little bit I wonder if I could do it with these two is it the same shape well first let's start with these and see what happens so this thing right here is magnetized so it makes things a little bit easier I used to have to use my um uh Wash machine. <laughs> so, let's see here. These aren't as fat as I would want them to be. Let's take this thing out. Is that what I want to do? No. Well, we'll see if these work. Sometimes you can use a good combination of the balls also. Um, the balls don't seem to be magnetized. No, they're not. Okay. So let's put the balls in there. They've got these really cool um, like cork board trays over at like Ikea but they also have other ones. I'm um, thinking about getting them. I don't know if you guys have seen Daily Dose of Fidget. He's got one. A couple of the other, like, um, Big Mitts and Fidgets has one. Um, so I think I'm going to have to, um, shit, get one of those because Sheba's blanket that she lays on is not, is not the deal. <laughs> Dude. I didn't want to suck that up. Uh, I guess they are magnetized. Stay down in now. Well, I could probably... Alright, come on. Let me take one off at a time. How about that? It's sucking to this thing. Alright, hold on. Okay. So what I did is those magnets were too skinny. So I found a couple of these magnets here. Now they're fatter, but they're thinner. So I was able to stack them up um, three high in these crevices. And I hope that that's enough. And then I put um, the balls back in. Now the balls are magnetic, magnetic, but not a lot. So now I'm going to just slide on these on. Now I know it 
we could replace all of these and it would be make a huge difference. Right now, it feels very, very weak. Come on. Look what happened there. These things are a pain in the fucking ass. Now, the reason for the balls is it, it creates that ratchet sound. So that ratchet sound is usually produced by um, kind of metal, grinding on metal a little bit. I mean, not really grinding, but just rubbing. Okay, let's try it again here. These balls are magnetic, but not enough to make this fidget any better, but enough to make it a fucking pain in the ass. I tried to get the middle um, bearing out because sometimes that makes things a little bit easier, but no. I could theoretically take this out, but let, should we try it one more time? Really fast. <gasps> okay. So, as you can see, I put those stronger magnets right here and then I put the balls back so that we can have that ratchet sound. But let's see if it's powerful enough. That's way better than it was. I still think that Pico was better. It was way stronger. But I think it's more expensive than this rice ball. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to send this back over to um, Kyle at Fidget Focus and see if he likes it better like this. I'm also gonna send in some of the spares that I have. Maybe he might be able to order some more magnets or something, but that's why it's good to kind of keep some spare magnets if you ever get any extras, but also you can order them online, uh, eBay, but there's specific uh, retailers that that sell them. Um, I'll put the link in the description. But yeah, that's the Gauss Studio Rice Ball. Would I recommend it? No. It's pretty looking, but I mean, I don't know, it feels kind of cheap. After switching out the magnets, it feels better. I will say that. Um, but that Pico, one it was way 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 better than this and I'll, I'll i'll put the link in that for that one i do miss that one a little bit sometimes that one was perfect and it was exactly the same as this it has the the face that comes off and it had exactly like this but it was made of um they had them in like stainless steel titanium i think i had gotten the titanium one but it was really good but this is way 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 better with the new magnets in it so but I mean, like, if, I don't know how much Kyle paid for this, but I'm going to look. I think he said that he might have gotten this on a sale. But um, if it's like 30 bucks, yeah, it's worth it. But anything more than that, I don't think so. But if you were to replace the magnets, all of them, like including the ones behind here, I think it could be a really, really great fidget. So... There she is, there she be, the Gal Studio Rice Ball in PEI, acrylic. I mean, it's not really acrylic, but it's similar to acrylic. PEI it can just withstand um, heat a little bit better, so it's easier to work with, like with machining, like milling. All right, guys, should we um, say hi to Sheba? Sheba! <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys.